All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 21 for today, and we've been slowly moving through Grand Champion 2 here. Obviously, it's going to slow down a little bit because we're finally settling into that uh, invisible MMR that basically tells you where you should be on your rank or on your account. So we're sitting at Grand Champion 2 Division 3, and hopefully in this episode, we go up to Division 4. We probably won't go up into Grand Champion 3, but we've been looking pretty good throughout the games, and we've been definitely playing a good position and just sort of reliably playing a good position around our teammates. So before we get into the episode, of course, we have to do the meme of the day. We got team with Chicago as Chicago. I've got two ideas. I think only one of them is going to work though. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I was going to try and make Chicago into the shape of Chicago, but I quickly learned that that's not going to work out. But we got a picture of Chicago from when he was a little baby back when he started competing. Uh, and I've got a skyline of Chicago instead. So I think this is going to be a lot better. I have some plans. Let's see how it turns out. First things first, as always, we got to grab his head. Okay, thank you, Photoshop. That should do. We'll just stick him right there um let's grab the skyline of the city here i can grab the opposite so i can do invert whoa invert selection here copy paste and then just stick that in front of chicago okay <laughs> okay that's um i mean yeah <laughs> kind of a lazy a lazy way to do this but i i didn't i didn't really see any other way to properly do this let me just fix up his uh his edges here let's feather off the edges yep there we have it chicago is chicago hope you guys enjoyed let's get to the episode all right got game number one we got tactician on my team against butter and yellow both both players uh on the other team are about even mmr where my teammates 50 below me so we'll have to see how this goes uh, my team is pushing up they end up missing though i'm not gonna go into the corner though because my teammates already pushed up on that he might chip it off the corner let's see what he does Get touched off the corner. Good bump as well. But once again, I can't really go on this yet. Now I can. Off the corner. Maybe go for a shot. They're going to save it, but it's all good. Get some good pressure. Try to bump Butter there. Good block. Watch out for the bump. I tried to go go around the, the demo, but good pace for my teammate here. That's totally fine. Lots of space here now. Go around this one player. It's decent try, but Yellow's going to definitely cut across there so so far really aggressive challenges really aggressive touches from everybody trying to watch for a good position good spot on the ball and pop it up nice and high it's gonna be really hard for them to deal with and let's go for the, the finish i don't think uh yellow was able to get to that ball there or wait yeah it's yellow okay yeah butter tried to follow up with a touch off the, the sidewall and this rolled down perfectly i think honestly yellow could have probably been a little bit more proactive on the defense there to try and go up for that ball but it might have been low on their way back but that's what happens when you go for those constant aggressive challenges. And that's a big thing about um, players who will turn on the ball a lot. Is they're tending to play a little, little bit more risky on every attempt. Really good try on the double there. So I get bumped, but I can still follow this up if I just boost towards the uh, the ball there. And then I'm going to just go for a, a far flick. And it might just be in. Honestly, I don't blame Butter for going for that challenge. I think that they just didn't challenge the, the full side of the net there. And yellow probably could have cut in a little bit early because both players just went into the back corner together. He's in 50 the corner. My, my teammate's probably going to get beaten mid. I think he did, and he's trying to go for the back corner now, so I'm just going to wait for the shot here. That's a really good follow-up. Oh, good save. Good patience from yellow there. I like that, that he turned off that ball because I'm going to be getting a 50-50 in an unfavorable position. Uh, right here, we don't have to go for the ball yet. It's totally fine. Just let him go for it. They both go, but now they're both in the corner. Could just be open, and it is. So yeah, they both dove into that ball there. It's it's a, a game of patience. Uh, basically sitting behind the ball in a position where they, they can't really do too much. Because even if they smack it off the backboard, you can see that it gives us easy momentum down the field. And my teammate can follow it up. I didn't realize that I was first. I don't know why. <laughs> I was too busy talking. I thought that my teammate was in front of me. That's really, really bad awareness for me though. So I'll push across here and stay with this ball. It's going to go up the wall a little bit. And even if Butter turns immediately right here, that's totally fine. Because now I have the position on the ball again. My teammate does take it. I would have preferred to set up a ball a little bit better there, but it's all good. See what happens here with this touch. I'm going to flick it over me or something. Not the greatest clear for me, but it's going to be tough for them to get that on, on target. He tried anyway, but definitely not the easiest. Does it pinch it with me, maybe? Oh, I tried to go for the pinch. It was close. So my teammate has a challenge here. I'm going to get back corner and then move back up. I could have probably insta challenge there. They popped the ball a little bit too far. So we got a decent pinch across. I got mid boost. if my teammate goes up for it. Might make him panic, and then we get a free goal. So yeah, the big miss off the backboard read uh, from the opponents, and then we get a free touch because my teammate also tried to read, probably maybe read them off that touch or try to go for the shot, and they missed. Either way, that's how that's how Rocket League works. Sometimes it works out in your favor. I definitely could have maybe went for that, but it's a little scary. 
And reading this off the backboard's a little tough. I might have just owned gold. Oh, save it. Oh, <laughs> that's my bad. Definitely a bad read, and it was a good, powerful touch off the backboard. You see, I thought I had enough to get up to that ball, but just missed the read a little bit. It's a good shot from them. So I can go for a uh, 50 to the back corner. That's pretty good. So even though that they got the touch there, it's no problem because my teammate has lots of space. I'm going to let him stay with the ball here. Just loop back. I was only positioned far wide there in case he went for the pass, but he didn't go for the pass. So, oh. What is going on here? <laughs> I'm just going to go for that shot. I mean, they're definitely panicking a little bit more than they need to because as you can see, he made a misread and then tried to get a touch. The same thing with yellow there. Both players panicking in a spot where it's kind of risky for us to go in for an attack. I mean, we are up many goals and that kind of changes your mentality going for a shot like oh i've got plenty of cushion and uh this is actually a really good example of like what my teammate didn't do in uh a previous series and it was i i don't fault my teammate there it was a really good play from them um that my teammate once he saw that i got, I got the back corner boost he sat there but i think he really could have just actually jumped at the ball and made them have to pop it higher um but otherwise the turn in was better uh than what we had in a previous game where if you see that you are not able to get boost or Position in a good spot. This could be bad. Going for this. That was a big overcommit. They pop it over. Should my teammate to stay close to this. Uh, but like I said, if you're in a position where you don't really have a good path for boost or uh, options. So my teammate can finish this. Nice try. Should be open for me. Oh, good bump. That's just a really good play. Um, if, you don't have, if you don't have a good spot for boost, just go for uh, a positional play instead. Oh, a little awkward. You get a save, but still not. Not the greatest. It's not the backboard. They're going to turn early on an aggressive challenge. That's why I'm just going for that backboard read early. Um, just got to get in the way in some shape or form. It's going to be saved from yellow. Pop across here. Now they still have possession off this touch. Even if they make a touch here, it's no problem. I guess you can see, just leave it to the back backboard. There's nothing they can do once the ball's uh, spilling to the backboard really fast like that. A good touch. It's a good chip. I'm going to let him go wide on this. The pop around butter here. Cool. I know I have space here. I don't need to panic. Even though it's over my head, I can turn around. Uh, I got lots of time on that ball. And once again, I don't let him go into the wall here because he has to make something happen. And there we go. The both players are overcommitted. I have a spot, spot down, uh, played on the field. Go for a flick across. Not quite in. Butter might make a save here. Good try in the demo. I like that he went for the boost steal. And immediately you can see he's turning for that demo as well. This guy might turn on this ball, which he does. My teammate's already in a good position to follow that. Ooh, never mind. I was going to say, he's in a good position to follow that, but he uh, didn't get the good read off the backboard. All good, though. We're still up to two goals. 26 seconds left. Go right side here. So immediately when I get that back boost, or mid boost, hopefully my teammate makes a challenge. Good job. You see, I immediately rotated back. It's going to pop over one player with a touch, and it's a really good uh, play to make there because it doesn't take too much position. Uh, positional change to make a good pop like that. Now that clear should probably solidify the game. Yeah, it definitely does. And uh, pretty good first game here. Let's see if he passes it down to me. Now they forfeit. Honestly, pretty good set of games here so far. I mean, set of games is one game. Uh, but uh, my teammate played really well, and he's he was the lowest MMR in the lobby, I think. And he played really well, really smart. All right, on to game number two. Here we got Just Vert and Zelty. Everyone's solo queue once again. Uh, we're getting close to that 1700 mark, which is, uh, you know, just shy. We're basically just shy of 200 points away from SSL. So about 20 more games uh, of wins if we can get a good, uh, you know, a good win streak going. My teammate's up the backboard. I see that he's like maybe going for it. He's kind of positioning a little bit slowly. So didn't want to uh, overcommit with him if he was going to go for it. Early flick's actually good for us because we can go for the challenge. If they held onto that ball, it would have been better. I'll try and push up on this to make sure they have to make an early chip. Now my teammate has a free ball. Well played. Oh, missed the boost. No problem. I'm going to stay close to this. He ends up going for the pre-jump, which is totally fine because my teammate should be positioned well for that. I'll leave the mid-boost for him. I think he got it. So he can probably turn on this immediately. Good challenge. So I have so much space. Once I see a, a player off the wall like that, I can go for an early chip. And now I have space for a 1v1. I do miss. Oh, actually, never mind. I thought I missed, but it was off the crossbar. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I chipped that ball off the wall. The second I see someone like positioning off the wall there, you can do that quick chip off of the... Uh, it's a sharp angle you want to make there. Um, because if you don't go for the sharp angle, uh, they can uh, follow up off the, the side wall there. 
uh, or turn around in time. But if you do a really sharp angle like that off the 90 degree, uh, it's easily, uh, you know, a 1v2 in 2v2. So I, I was too busy talking there. Probably should have just paid attention to the fact that the guy was chasing me down. I'm going to pass this back here. Oh, I actually don't pass it back very well at all. For a chip. And a free goal. Yeah, that early chip they did not expect. I was going super aggressive there because I, I put my teammate in a really bad position. So I wanted to make sure I cover him uh, and recuperate like the, our, our position there. Because he, he giving the opponent a 1v1 dribble is never good. See, my teammate wants to push up on this. I'm going to get the back corner. I missed the boost again. <laughs> Good pop. They might miss. Okay, I didn't really want to go for that because once again, they're both on the ball. This guy might stay with it. Good flick. Good save as well. I bump this guy into the net. Good save. <laughs> bump him again. Nice clear. See if this guy can follow it up. Decent double touch. Once again, I can wait for this to bounce off the ground and stay close. He gets a good demo though. This guy's been really demo heavy. Really good aggressive challenge for my teammate too early on. My teammate can go for this. Good challenge. Too awkward for him. Early challenge from them, which is totally fine. Pop off the wall here. Maybe this boost will spawn. It does. Awkward for them. Oh. What just happened? I think, honestly, uh, Zelty's little like uh, push into... Uh, need boost? Okay, I wasn't sure what that meant. Um, that little push from Zelty into, uh, from the corner towards the ball made uh, his teammate move around, move away. They could go up for this early, so I'm just going to go for a chip across. I try to save a little bit of boost. That way I can get a touch into mid. Good fall from Athlete here. Nicely done. I mean, we're definitely not doing that much. I feel like we're just positioning really well, making sure we stay near the ball. You can see that other players are pretty fast here as well. Um, it's just about being really efficient on your challenges. Uh... Oh, then say, <laughs> say need boost. You just say need boost. It's not, I got it. <laughs> okay. We got, we got division four, uh, but I, you know what? I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to waste my time with that. <laughs> we got division four though. Let's get into the last game. Well, I can uh, clear that off my bucket list. We got uh coach by a GC two. <laughs> That was pretty funny. Uh, yeah, you don't need to do I got it need boost. Need boost means go back corner or I'm I'm leading it back corner. This guy could maybe get a pinch or something. I'm just trying to be careful of that. I go around him with the one touch and then a chip in mid. Hoverfish is going to go. He's going to be a little bit too fast there. I probably could have just challenged. I was a little bit scared because my teammate was pushed forward there. i um, going to call him Stripe. I don't know how to say his name. S-R-T-R-P. Oh, this could be dangerous. They don't get a good touch, though. So I got some space. I'm going to pop this up once. Once again, my teammate ahead of the ball a little bit there. I'm a little bit nervous to make anything uh, super aggressive. Pop this off the wall. Go for a challenge, too. See if this guy can bump this guy, maybe. Oh. Pop it up. See what they do with that. I don't really want to uh, be first man. I'm kind of scared of being first man with a, a, a teammate that's um, like a little bit aggressive or not solid on position. So I'm just going to play uh, a little bit careful. See what happens here with this guy. Good shot towards target. They might get a clear though. No problem. So I got some space on this ball. So I'm just going to pop it towards the mid and then try to get a 50-50. If I try to follow that up with a uh, an air dribble of sorts, they're probably going to get a touch. Pops off the wall, see what happens. Maybe you can bump him. Okay, that would have been a perfect time to bump that guy because he's last. That's right, totally fine. My teammate's pushing up his last man again, so I'm just going to get behind him. Oh. A little bit of an awkward position. Let's stay close here. Good. I'm just going to pop this middle here. Good save from them. Oh my god, that guy's pogoing. Oh, should my teammate now? Maybe? Okay, he's went for the mid boost instead. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. This is not um, the rotation that I prefer to be playing in. Let's see if I can pinch this middle here. See if we can finish it. Nice shot. Well done. Um, I, I think that this is maybe like a, a difference in play styles. The way that he's uh, moving ahead of me or 
you know, going for boost over the ball in certain situations, which, you know, it can work, but I would say that overall, you want to make sure you're, you're playing a good position on the play, on the ball. This guy's going up, so I'm actually going to challenge. I wouldn't have probably went up for it if he didn't uh, go for the touch, but this is going to be really awkward for him now that he missed that. He goes for a touch off the side. Should be my teammate to follow us up. Good chip. Go for the, the boost here. The way that I pop that is to make sure it pops into the ceiling. My teammate t did take it, but I don't really want to challenge that because, as you can see, that could have been an immediate goal. Because I got it, so I'm just going to leave him to, to deal with the ball. You got to trust the, the quick chats. Go for a rolling shot here. He has to make a touch awkwardly in mid. to my teammate to follow it up. Not the greatest shot. He's following it. Ooh. Okay, okay. Maybe a bump. I really should not be going for that. Uh, because they can follow it up on the air dribble. Good flick. Good clear as well. It's probably going to be them uh, on the next touch though. So I'm just going to bump double. Let's see what teammate does here. Oh, that's a little bit difficult. I don't, I'm not a big fan of that pop, but they didn't get a good, good follow up on this touch. Oh, no. That's back to them. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that touch that that gives the ball right back to them on that side there. It's a bit, been a pretty tough game here, uh, but we're making it work. You know, we're down one goal, not a big deal. Ooh, delayed touch. Maybe I'll stay with that. Oh boy, I think my teammate. Yeah, he overcommitted again. A bit tough. He pre-jumped that touch when he doesn't need to, because if the guy flicks it over, I'm ready for it, and uh, he he should just go for the challenge and dive into him. But he's trying to play it as if it's like a 1v1. So once again, not not a great choice on some of the positions. Should be a shot here. Oh, they both hit the brakes and off the post. It was pretty good. Um, you know, we're making it work. Definitely an awkward game. It happens. I'm not going to sit here and, you know, gripe about every little thing he's doing. But sometimes you get a, t a teammate who doesn't vibe with you. Oh, maybe a touch again. One more touch should be good. Ends up touching it one more time, so it's a little awkward. Close. Let's go for the mid boost here. That's not a pass I want to go for, because it's going to be uh, a challenge, like you said. It's, it's, it's an all-in or all in play for me if I go for that. Buffer's awkward. He's backwards. Shoot my teammate to challenge this. All right, here we go. And there we go. Nice little flick. The way that those flicks, uh, the way that Moxie does it as well, is uh, you make the pop off the ball here first, and then you go for a little bit of a boost, right? See that little spurt of boost? That gives you that extra ramp on the ball. Obviously, this is probably a game that I we shouldn't be winning uh, in GC2 uh, if you're playing at GC2 level. Because I'm definitely like pulling out a few things that are a little bit precise, but not a, it's not like a huge deal. Oh, that's a bit awkward play there. We might not still win this game. We, you know, we still got lots of time. There's the challenge we needed. So now look how much space I have because he made the challenge early and then, uh, you know, followed it up to make them have to pop the ball. And he does get a touch off the backboard, but this is going to be tough here because I'm, I'm last man. He did jump for uh, the ball there and they're going to get a save across the net here. Um, but at least I got in the way. Once again, early challenges. This is going to be tough here. The way that I make him uh, go for the ball there is because I'm, I'm sort of... Uh, pretending that I'm going for the ball. It's obviously a big, big fake. I'm kind of scared. Okay, we're good. See some pop towards the net. See what Pufferfish does. Oh, man. I'm I'm terrified. <laughs> it's all good, though. We're playing solid defense. I'm going to go back left corner here. See what happens. Oh, that's rough. That is rough. I'm scared. This guy's probably gonna miss. I'm just gonna go for a touch off the sidewall. It's gonna uh, be double up or double here on the touch. Alright, so I have space on the ball here. Let him go for the bump. And the guy hesitated just enough that we can get a flick, but uh, that was a bit of an awkward game. Like I said, we made it work. That was a good choice for my teammate to go for the bump. Uh, it's definitely an all in play. I have to make sure uh, that I play uh, a little bit careful there in case that he goes for the all in with the boost because he's gonna be low boost on the other side of the of the field. I really don't think we should have won that game. That was definitely a tough one. 
Um, his positioning was just a little bit too aggressive in a lot of a lot of times, and he was going for boost grabs they didn't need to go for, or just making touches like super fast, where he could have made possessions, slowed down the play, uh, found a position to you know pass to me. We never made any passes either, both of us, because I can never pass to him in a position, and he can never pass to me because I was always you know trying to play catch up with wherever he was going. So either way, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Definitely an interesting one to be coached by a GC2 and. Definitely uh, showing what you need to do to play play with a teammate like this. But either way, until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.